hi welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be doing something a little different okay but I think this would definitely help other people especially since I was able to come across a DNA test for only 65 bucks and if you guys have been looking into trying to get your ancestry um, family tree done and you just thought like it's too expensive for $99 or to $164 to get your DNA test. Well, you can jump on it right quick, right now. That's why I have this as part one of the video because I wanted you guys to get this discount before it goes. So click the link below, the Groupon link, so you can get yours today, okay? Now, the second part of this video is going to be my actual results. As we know, it takes about, I think, six weeks after you swab your mouth, you send it into the lab, and then they'll send you back your results. So I didn't want you guys to wait that long. So I decided to do an Ancestry DNS 8 DNA test and it was calling me to learn more about my ancestors and where I truly came from. Also, when it comes to different astrological aspects, because I do talk about astrology too, okay? Since I, you know, like to make people aware of the energies that's going on around them and why they may be interested in to why certain things just pop up out of the blue. You know, astrology also talks about our ancestors and our family within our natal chart. If you're unsure what, you know, your astrological chart is, you can click the link below and get a free report of your astrology chart, okay? So if this is on my other channel, I have two channels, so check out my channel Ishe Astro, okay? So you can learn a little bit more about astrology. So if you are experiencing a Pluto in the fourth house transit, this can bring on either the concerns with family members or hidden things surrounding your home or questions that you may have about your childhood as well as other things that may go on as it relates to your family and your home. As well as having Pluto in the eighth house, maybe Neptune and 12th house um, transits as well as eighth house transits in general. These things can spark up different things as it relates to hidden, hidden matters and wanting to explore these things. These energies can make you go deeper and want to research your history as well as your ancestors. Now with Saturn in the fourth house transit, you can start to think more about seriously about your security. So if you're experiencing Saturn in the fourth house transit, you can think more about your security, your home matters, your family, and this could spark a need to discover more as well. If you also experiencing Jupiter maybe in the fourth house, this is pretty much can help you become more expansive as to what you want to learn about your family, about your history, about your home, about your ancestors, and things of that sort. So let me get into the test per se of what I'm going to be using um, and the test that I was able to get off of Groupon was this one right here. Let me see if you're able to see. I'm going to try to zoom in. And this is pretty much, this was half the price, you guys. 65 bucks. But that does not include the shipping. I think the shipping, the shipping was about 13 bucks, I think, okay? So you have to include that as well. So, again, I'm going to be doing a second part of this where I reveal my results. But let's open the box to see, you know, what it actually entails. And I, I, I got you guys, I also want you to stay tuned to my giveaways. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways and, you know, just stay abreast of what's going on on my channel. I'm going to actually put it in the title bar when I'm giving away something. So that way you can know. So as I'm going through the box here, you see the little card here, My Heritage DNA. And these are the instructions. So it's going to come with the instructions. It's going to come in. It's going to come with the envelope to mail it right back to the place. Okay, which is in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Okay, so it came with a swab here. It came with the solution here that I have to use to swab my mouth. The actual swabs here, what they gave me too. So I'm going to read the instructions and then I'll get back to you. 
Okay, so I'm going to be going through each step with you guys. The first step is that you have to go on their website and actually um, set up your account and put all your information in there, your demographic information, as well as your father's, your mother, your mother's mother, your father's mother, information in there, the date of birth and everything like that. And that's what they want you to do first. They also mentioned that you should not eat you should not have eaten or drunk anything um, for the past 30 minutes. So no drinking and no eating anything within 30 minutes of taking this test. The second part is open the kit and lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. So that I've done that already. Okay, and it says remove one cheek swab. So this is the one cheek swab here. Open it up from the wrapper and use the swab head to scrape the inside of one of your cheeks while rotating the swab for about 30 to 60 seconds. So that's what I'm about to do. seconds one of your cheeks for 30 seconds all right oh you guys make sure you don't have on any lipstick <laughs> I, I'm hoping that doesn't affect my results but I shouldn't have on any lipstick even though that doesn't say that in the instructions but anyway so step four open one vial which I'll do and insert the swap inside. Swap in, swap in down. Once the swap touches the bottom of the vial, break the swap against the inside edge. So I did it. Did you guys see it? I put it all the way down here and I broke it. So again, I recommend do not have on lipstick or makeup um, when doing this, okay? Because I don't know, it may affect my results. I'm not sure. But I did do the left cheek here. And so I'm assuming they want me to do the same thing to the right cheek. So it says, final to mark the line, leaving the swab in inside the liquid of the vial. Now seven, close the vial cap, which I did, of course. It's closed, as you can see, it's closed. And so number six is swap the other cheek with the second swap that they gave you, which is here. So. So as you can see, this one is a lot cleaner than the first one. The first one has some lipstick on it. I tried to avoid my lips. So if you're wearing lipstick, just try to avoid your lips as much as possible. So now I'm going to open up this one and do the same thing that I did before. Uh, make sure that's what they're saying. Make sure that the vial caps are closed tightly. Okay, mark the line, close the cap tightly. Set the swab and start swabbing it. Okay, so yes, I'm doing the same process. See? Okay. Make sure the tops are secure, very tight. And now we ship it off. So I will see my results in about six weeks and I'll be back, okay? All right, bye-bye.